So Black Ops 6 has finally been revealed. And guys, I have to say, after the spreading of my anal cavities by Activision and Modern Warfare 3 and 2 over the last couple years, man, this game looks like, uh, I guess the best way to put it would be like downing a handful of salt and now this game's like a cool glass of water. So yeah, this game looks pretty good. I watched the trailer, I watched a little bit of gameplay that we got, just like everybody else. I have some thoughts, I have some opinions on what I've seen, and we're going to go ahead and talk about that today. So, everybody if, who's new to the channel, my name's Stevius, welcome, and let's dive right into this. So first and foremost, I'm trying to tell myself not to get too excited about this, because... It's, it's Call of Duty, man. They do the same thing every single year. They pump this game out, then they put it out, and then, you know, it's all of a sudden the same old thing. Skill-based matchmaking, 40, 50, 60, 90, 100 dollar bundles of cat skins and, you know, running around looking like a weirdo that has nothing to do with the game. I mean, you guys know how it goes. It's the same thing over and over again, but... The one thing I can say is it, it looked good. I mean, I'm hoping it's good, but you know, the rumor is, is that skill-based matchmaking is going to be drastically toned down on this game. And I, I honestly believe that there's a little bit of truth to that this time. And the reason why I say that is we all know that X Defiance out. X Defiant is giving Call of Duty a run for their money. And their big claim to fame is the fact that they do not have skill-based matchmaking in their game. So I would not be surprised in the least if it's toned down if nothing else in this you know entry into call of duty but ultimately we're just going to have to wait and see how that all pans out but i do want you guys to leave some comments in the comment section let me know what you think about what you saw what was your favorite thing what are you excited about i'm really excited to hear what you guys have to say let's have a conversation about it me personally the first thing i noticed was the graphics it looks like cold war on the new engine i thought that was really cool that was one of the things that i was personally waiting to see was if they were gonna follow the same art style with the new engine, because y'all know when Black Ops Cold War came out, we didn't really get to see this game on the new engine. So this is the first time that we're seeing Treyarch take advantage of the new engine all the way back to 2019. So it's pretty exciting to see what all the, the art direction and things like that, what it's gonna look like. The next thing that is really exciting that was mentioned was the prestige system. The old classic prestige system is coming back. And for those of you who are not familiar with it or if you you know weren't playing call of duty prior to 2019 the prestige system was great most games typically it had a 50 to 55 level cap i think it was in the modern warfare franchise you know like specifically modern warfare 2 and 3 i want to say it was like you could get all the way to level 80 before you could actually prestige and then there was like 20 prestiges total and the other ones it was like 10 prestiges but the thing was is you would choose to prestige you would get a new emblem it was a big deal you know you kind of brag about it back then and then you would lock everything up again and you would get like one token to unlock your favorite thing whether it was a perk or gun you know what have you and it sounds like that's exactly what it's going to be this time it definitely made the grind well more worth it back then than it does feel like it now i mean to now it doesn't even feel like a point to even care about wanting to reach those max levels so going back to this you know it really feels pretty good now i will say that this being a selling point uh, kind of ridiculous if you want to be frankly honest this is not really a selling point this is something that should have never left in my personal opinion but we got it back so let's just be happy i guess the next thing that was brought up was the new movement system the omni movement being able to change your directions mid gameplay and whatnot to some people this is going to sound really exciting just based off of the idea that you're going to get to live out the action hero fantasies in your game and whatnot but to some people who are not really a fan of the bunny hopping in the cheese it's gonna get worse <laughs> just know that it's gonna get worse it's gonna get way worse if you're going to be frankly honest but you know, one thing to keep in mind it's not these movement systems that you know are making this game sweaty and it's not even skill-based matchmaking that's making this game sweaty it's the fact that 90 percent of the people who you know make youtube videos or watch youtube videos 
uh, maybe not 90%, but a good bit of them. They're all content creators, whether they're big or small, and they're trying to get those amazing gameplay. And that's what makes this game so incredibly sweaty. And just, I'm not gonna even go into all that completely. I mean, that's a whole nother video, but you know, if you go back in time to like Black Ops 2, you know, Modern Warfare 3, the original Modern Warfare 3, it wasn't as sweaty. And the reason why is because there was not as many content creators back then. There was no money in it. At least that's, I don't think there was money in it yet. I wanna say in 2012, but anyway, that's a whole nother video. That's the main reason it wasn't sweaty. But the next big thing, 16 brand new original maps at launch. Now, we haven't heard anything about the fan favorites like Summit, Nuketown, uh, what else was there? Firing Range. Uh, I can't think of the other ones right now, but you know, all those favorite maps, Jungle, that was another one, Launch. We don't know if any of those maps are coming back. And frankly, I don't think we need them to come back. I mean, it'd be cool to see Nuketown because, I mean, that one's always in a Treyarch game and it probably will be. I can't imagine them having a game and not having Nuketown in it. But it's really cool to see that we're going to have a bunch of brand new maps and it looks like a brand new experience. Everything about the game looks fresh and new. And that's one thing I really like. Now, one thing that is a downfall in some aspects, only in the aspect because people paid for the stuff, but if you didn't know, your skins that you bought in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 will not be carrying over to this game. For the rumor is, or from what, what I read somewhere, I want to say I read this, that they are going to be carrying over in Warzone, but they are not going to be carrying over in this game. So anything you bought, it's, you're not going to be using it in this game. That's something you do need to you know, wrap your head around if you haven't done so already. Now, one thing that I did notice just from the little bit of the gameplay clip here is two things. Is one, a lot of the guns that I saw in this clip were the same guns that were in Black Ops Cold War. So if you're wondering what kind of weapons we're gonna see, go play Black Ops Cold War because it was the exact same guns. I saw the Krig, you know, straight out the bat on one of the gameplay videos. Uh, the other thing is you're gonna wonder, probably about most of you are wondering what kind of streaks. It's gonna be the same streaks that we always have. Uh, Black Ops Cold War had things like a VTOL, Chopper Gunner, uh, Stray Fronts, it probably, had, I think it had dogs in there. Uh, it had the Swarm, I wanna say. I mean, all the same, you know, streaks that we always have in a Black Ops game they're going to be the exact same streaks that you probably see in this game probably maybe with a handful a couple new ones maybe a couple new ones but for the most part it's going to be the same guns it's going to be the same streaks nothing crazy new there a lot of really solid details were shown off here in the thing and if you haven't watched these you know go ahead and watch them you know there's a lot of really good stuff in there as far as what you can expect to see in the new game personally my thoughts after seeing everything the campaign looks like it's going to be a lot of fun it looks like a straight up action movie i I like that kind of thing i probably need to finish black ops cold war to make sure i'm up to date with everything uh the multiplayer maps everything about the gunplay and everything it looks great now the thing is the question is in my mind if skill-based matchmaking is there the same way that it's always been it's gonna be a snooze fest in some aspects it's it's gonna suck i mean but then at the same time i, I can't i gotta hold my breath on that because black ops cold war had skill-based matchmaking through the roof and at the same time that was still a lot of fun now that is my actually one of my biggest concerns was in black ops cold war anyone who played that which i'm pretty sure most people have played it and i know there's some people you know this coming in, in their first game was modern warfare 2 or modern warfare 3 but for anyone who doesn't remember this in black ops cold war they had the stupidest system for kill streaks, and that system was based on you know everybody gets a streak you know, and you could succession kills and whatnot, and you would eventually get the stuff no matter what, it wouldn't reset, all that kind of stuff. That needs to go. That does not need to be here. I'm really hoping that that's not in the game. I'm also, you know, kind of hoping, you know, the way the gunsmith works, you know, with all the attachments and whatnot, I kind of want to see it go. I want to go back to the pick 10 system, pick 13, something like that, and just get away from you know all this massive adjustments and whatnot that you see in guns it's just not i'm over it i'm just really over it but it does look fun and i think that as they do tone down the skill-based matchmaking like the rumors have been then i think that we're going to be in for a great year i think black ops 6 could be you know definitely something that's great i will say that watching you know the reveals and them talking and whatnot just kind of on a side note it kind of hurt my heart a little bit not seeing vondahar up there i mean He's been up there since the beginning of Treyarch and Call of Duty. I mean, it's always been him up there. So not seeing him up there was a little disappointing. To, but at the same time, though, we do know that he quit Treyarch, you know, a year or two ago. And that's supposedly when they finished this game. So 
it's we can rest assured that Von Dahar was involved in the involvement of the creation of Black Ops 6. So that's that's a plus. But drop your thoughts in the comment section. That's all I've got for today on this. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Are you excited for Black Ops 6? Are you just like, nope, not happening? I'd love to hear what you think. But you can expect to see truckloads of Black Ops 6 content on this channel because for the most part, I'm going to say I'm excited about it. But once again, that's all I've got for today, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn notifications on so you can be notified every single time I upload a video. And this is your boy, Stevius, signing out. And I'll see you on the next one.